probably undoubtedly the most uh, innovative guy we have in the industry right now. Hanging out with Ed forced me to, to think outside the box. He got me past the green butt skunk and the 10 foot sink tip. Most of the decisions I think that he's made in his life have been based strictly around what he can do to continue to steal head fish. And I find that to be unbelievably cool. He just said, you know, we started talking about fishing and he just said, well, if, if uh, you fish as much as you say you do, I'll see you again. And it probably wasn't a week before I ran into him again somewhere. Skagit casting as a style, I guess it, you could call it a style, is basically defined by the sustained anchor. The whole impetus behind the sustained anchor casting or Skagit casting was that actually when it all comes down to it was the intruder. Attraction for using big flies is that they will elicit the most aggressive response out of a steelhead and you'll get the hardest takes. These flies are not tied, they're engineered. Everything that was put into this fly was put in for an actual reason besides aesthetic. The aesthetics is actually the last reason. They were either super afraid, I either better run or I better kill that thing because <laughs> it's probably going to latch onto my neck. Ed, I don't really know much about the guy. I heard he's dating like some 21-year-old supermodel or something now. Can't believe there isn't a fish here. Or at least one that's willing to bite. I am still so excited and have so much fun fishing this way that I want other people to enjoy fishing this way too. I want other people to be able to partake of the same amount of fun.